you were in control the entire time, but, but was there anything uh, that you had to do different because of his size and the size differential and the strength that he brought into this type of match at 170? Uh, I came in with the same game plan I have every other match. It's just another match, and I'm going out there wrestling to win. Uh, I'm going to keep the pace on him. Uh, I just take him down and cut him. Uh, hopefully tried to break him in the first period. Uh, I felt like I got there. After that second takedown, I feel like he kind of let up with that 45 seconds left, and that's when I just I, I knew I had him. How solid was your position on top to be able to kind of control him and force him to work uh, when he was in the down position? Yeah, uh, it, he was strong. He was very strong. So, uh, you know, I was I was not not holding on. I mean, I was still trying to work, but it's hard to work against a guy. I mean that strong and that much stronger than me. So uh, I just got a wrist and tried to work from there. I believe you're familiar uh, with some of the guys on the other side, maybe specifically yeah. one of the one of the guys. Uh, what, what was it like to kind of be back on the mat uh, with Cody as an opposition and, and and to maybe have a little bit of that back and forth banter with him? You know, it's, it's definitely different than it used to be. Uh, I love Cody to death. Uh, I always will. But man, we're always we're always friends off the mat and on the mat. You know, it's just we're just two guys. You think you'll be able to maybe talk to him though if you guys are able to hold on and win this? You think oh, you, yeah, you, you might have a message or I'm, two for I'm, him? I'm definitely gonna give him some crap.